In this video, I'm going to walk you through my design for an ultrasonic humidifier that you can make with parts that are pretty easy to acquire. The essential items include a plastic box to contain everything in, some PVC parts and PVC pipe, drain pipe, a small fan, and a water fountain fogger that I actually found online for a very good price. The production and assembly of the humidifier is actually rather straight, straightforward. What I did, I started with the top of the container that was going to be used and measured off the spaces to be cut. So starting with the piece that needed to go in here, literally just put the piece of PVC or the drain pipe actually over, traced it and cut it and then did the same thing for this piece that was going to be going through for here. This is going to be the vent. This is going to be for the fan to come in. Once the pieces are cut, assembly is rather straightforward. Took the piece of the drain pipe, put it into the elbow and then took a piece of silicone baking sheet to work to seal up around the opening and just slid it down over the edge. Put this into the opening that I created here and that's all that was needed to get set for the part where the fan would blow in. The spot for going through, actually there's a second piece. I already put a piece of pipe inside of here to connect an elbow off but the first thing we need to do is put it into the hole that we created specifically for this spot. And again, this is going to be for the vent blowing out. So took our connector piece threaded onto the other threaded piece and just literally put them together. Would be a good idea to actually cut this off right about here to increase the amount of flow coming out once the fan is up and operating. But for now, I just kept it as is. I also went ahead and just painted these pieces silver because I had the leftover spray paint and I thought, why not? With this piece in play, we now have a port for the humidity or the humidified air to come out and where the fan's going to blow in. The hole that I made here is actually for the other piece that will go in through there that is for the pond unit that makes the humidity or the mist for that purpose. It actually works the exact same method as an ultrasonic humidifier. I took some pieces of insulation that were adhesive on one side and, and cushiony to put on the inside cut to piece between each of these sections because it turns out once humidity starts coming up it likes to gather around the edges and seep out so I just did this to reduce the amount of drips coming through. With this particular project box all I have to do at this point is close it over and latch and that part's ready to go. The next step in the assembly is actually the part that creates the humidity. This is the exact same methodology used for an ultrasonic humidifier. The disc that's in here does the same level of, of vibration to create what's used for a fog in a water display or water feature, which is why this has the LEDs on here. But the one thing that I particularly like about this is it produces a large amount of fog and it actually has a nice little light display that goes with it. The other secondary benefit that is uh, with this, it happens to cost about one-tenth the price of the device that you get in an ultrasonic humidifier. So it's nice when you can get it. On, I got mine online. You get it so that it has a power piece in the middle that disconnects, make it very easy to install. Just take the top off. I set the piece down in there. The little rubber stopper slides up and down the line and then just feed the power cord through the hole that we put on the side here until we can push the little rubber stopper through. I situate this right about in the middle and again close it up and over and that is all there is. Connect the power source, plug it into the wall, this part is complete. The final step in production and assembly is the only part that I would consider a little bit more complicated and that is actually creating the fan unit uh, to go into this. Again, everything that I used was PVC. I had a toy uh, DC motor that was used for this. Um, took a, a momentary switch or an on-off switch actually. It is a two-speed variable so that I could click it in and out. I've got a chipboard in here which is a little bit hard to get to uh, to pull out at this point but wired it in um, with an extra resistor so that I could change the amount of, of flow going through and have an old phone charger 
that was utilized for this particular purpose um, so that I could run the fan motor and then this on off switch actually is just a two position switch for high and low and what I did is I took the larger um, piece that I used to connect to the unit, the box, and put four screws through the sides to come into a PVC connector that has my little DC motor inside. So the fan blade goes right in over on top And these can be harvested from a bunch of different kinds of toys. This came from a, a little um, helicopter type of a toy. And all I did, it actually fit perfectly inside. I just took two O-rings and put over the, over the outside of the DC motor and then slid it down through the opening this direction and wired it back out through this side so that I could then just push the wires down into here and screw this particular piece back in. Then all I had to do is push this down through and get all the pieces tucked neatly inside to leave myself with a handy little fan that I can plug into the wall. My first pass at this I actually used batteries and the batteries just didn't last quite long enough so I went with this approach. Also I did add a couple of thick rubber bands that I had uh, laying around in an old bag to help reduce with vibration. This particular one I just pulled up over the edges to cover the screws to do a little noise dampening on this point. And then the other one will slide over the piece that goes into the connection on the box. So again, we take another piece of drain pipe, just slide it onto there. This slides right into place. And then I just slid the rubber band down over the edge to reduce the vibration that happens between the two pieces there. Once this is in place, the unit is set. All I have to do is fill it with water and I can either take the top off to fill it with water or literally just take water and pour it right down the vent there. And that is how I created the uh, quick little portable ultrasonic humidifier. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.